Hi, everybody. DJ Yokely with you with a very special guest and a familiar face here on YSN. It is Britt Taylor. And not only is he one of the best announcers on your sports network, but now he doubles as a manager of the Prospects 18U team. Britt, how are you? Good. How are you, DJ? I'm doing well, brother. Been a long time. COVID uh, has, has come and gone, it seems. And now we're ready for baseball. Uh, and the new coach, you've coached this team for a long time at, at different levels. You step into the 18-year role. What uh, what challenges do you feel like you're facing? Well, you know, obviously the biggest difference, um, we, we had a really good season last year. We ended up winning the league last year um, as 16-year team. And, and, but the biggest change, obviously, you know, there's these kids – and and I see it every single year. There's huge differences in each age from 15 to 16 to 17 to 18. But, you know, you, you go going into 18, you, you, you have to say the biggest difference is, is the wood bat. And, uh, you know, when you're hitting the ball, you've got to hit the ball perfectly. You know, we, we, we had uh, actually our team made it to the NBF the last two years in a row. And, and we, you know, we had some pretty good offense, but we, we struggled a little bit in the NABF because it was a wood bat tournament. And, uh, you know, that's something we really, really worked hard on in the off season. And I stress with the kids, you know, <clears throat> you know, you've, you got to get the barrel of the bat on the ball. There's no, you know, sometimes with those metal bats, you can hit, hit a different part of the bat, you know, other than the sweet spot and, and get lucky, but uh, wood is less forgiving. So, you know, that's the biggest difference as far as is going, I think. Um, and obviously the game's a lot faster. I think each level you go up, the game's going to be a lot faster. So that's going to be an adjustment for, for a lot of the kids. So let's talk about this first pitch. We say first pitch Sunday, but really it's two weeks away. There's an excitement level in Class B that, I'll be honest, we haven't seen since we started to cover the league. I think kids are just excited to get back out on the fields and play against, you know, kids in different colored uniforms. What's your assessment of first pitch Sunday? And why is it so important to you? Oh man, I, we're pumped. I mean, this is, this is really exciting just to be able to get out after, you know, these kids, a lot of these kids not being able to play for the last, you know, two or three months, missing their high school season. Uh, a lot of the seniors, uh, this is, this is a big deal for them, especially and uh, we do, even though we're a young team, we do have a few <laughs> seniors on our team. Um, but uh, that, that's, that's just, just getting out and enjoying, being out, playing baseball. You know, you know, I'm a big football fan too, but there's nothing better than baseball in the summer. There's just nothing sweeter. And uh, I'm just, just really excited for that and, and, and really excited about the group of kids that we have coming up. Let's talk about that group of kids. What's in the cupboard, Britt? What's, uh, what familiar faces are we excited to see in the red and white this year? Um, well, I can go around the horn. You know, I'm really excited about our catcher position, David Leslie. Um, honestly, think David, um, and, and I'll, uh, I think, honestly, David's probably one of the best catchers up there, if not the best. Um, pop time is now below 1.6. He's got a cannon for, the, for an arm, yeah. And he's less than uh, – and, and I think we're going to see David on the mound a little bit more this year than we did last year. We got another catcher to help us out, uh, Nick Osborne. You know, first base, uh, Jared Mindak, absolute stud. Um, and then uh, we're going to move Clay Wiesen over to second. Uh, and Clay is just an amazing athlete. And we got Shane Cato. We picked up Mike Galterio this year. He's going to see some time at short and third along with uh, – um, Austin Price, and one of our exciting pickups this year. Now, he, uh, he's played with us the last couple of years in the NABF, as well as the um, uh, a few other things. And uh, Jeremy Cruzweiser, just just a great kid, great pitcher, um, got some great speed. Uh, we've got a lot of speed this year. Really excited. Um, Luca Masucci. Uh, we got Tino Molteri back, and uh, another kid that you know. Um, I'm really excited about not just his his future in, in Class B and in baseball. Uh, he's young. He's going to be playing with us in 18 and 16. Uh, Luca Bertolasio, he's a 15-year-old, put probably 20 pounds of muscle on in the offseason. And uh, we've been watching him in BP. Just, just, just a lot of fun to watch. He's going to be 
uh, not only 15, but uh, or not only 18U, he's going to be playing for us, but down in uh, 16, he's going to be something to, to watch down there with Mike Granary and, and our 16U team. Uh, really excited about that. And uh, we've got, uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot, we've we really got a lot of depth of pitcher this year, picked up some good kids, um, you know, Brock Tarcha and Colin Gallagher from Butler. And uh, um, I, I, I know I'm forgetting some folks, but uh, <laughs> well, here's your here's your chance. What are the first time prospects that we're going to see in your uniform for the first time here in 2020? Well, I think that that is uh, Jeremy Cruzweiser, obviously, and Mike Altario uh, are going to be actually the first time prospects for us. And uh, um, oh, and I forgot to mention my boy, one of my. I, I would put this man. I, I would put this young man on my team just because of his name, Sully Brown. <laughs> yeah, Sully. <laughs> Love Sully. Uh, and and we'll we'll have uh, Alex Alex and Nizero and another young pit or actually a senior. He's going to be going to Heidelberg. Uh, Vincent Marion Petrie. Vincent uh, has been real, really working hard in the off season. Good pitcher. Really picked up some velocity. So um, yeah, we're I'm I'm really excited. Got a nice group of kids and really this group. Um, one of the things that I'm really big on with the players is, is, uh, cohesive, cohesiveness in the dugout. And, uh, you know, we, we, we create an atmosphere with a group of kids that, that really work well together, get along and really have a good time, you know, summer baseball. And, and I really think that's a big part of it in enjoying themselves. And, and that team chemistry, I think is very, very important. One of our one of our longtime leaders, young man who's been with us since he's 11, actually, Connor Learn um, from Austin Towns, just dislocated his shoulder. But Connor will be with us on the dugout, and he, he's one of our team leaders, and um, we'll recognize him. Uh, I know Class B is going to do a great thing this year, and they're going to recognize all the seniors at the end of the season. So Connor will be with us, and um, really excited for that. So it sounds like you got some great clay. Uh, now you need some sculptors <laughs> and, and really, you know, as any good manager is, as, as you are, you need some good people to work around you. So what kind of assistance do you have at the 18U <laughs> level that's really going to take uh, this team to the next level for you in 2020? Uh, well, uh, first, first and foremost, uh, somebody who's been with me for a long time and I really enjoyed working with him, Chuck Cato. Chuck, um, uh, we always, always joke about uh, our credentials. Um, <laughs> and if you go on the website, I got a picture of Domingo Ayala on there of him. Uh, Chuck, Chuck is, uh, probably, I, I trust him with, with everything. He, he is absolutely awesome. He's got a great eye, uh, batting, what have you. He's calm. He's great with the kids. The kids love him. And, uh, I think he's, he's always been a huge part of our success. Uh, Brad Leslie, uh, Stone Cold, he, he is, uh, He's our man with the with the with the golden dome, and uh, wrong with that. that's right. That's right. Uh, Pat Carano and Mike Altario will be joining us, and uh, uh, everybody works well together. I am not a uh, especially summer baseball. I'm not a big yeller and screamer, and the coaches were all on the same level, and they they, they put a lot of hard work with the kids in the off season, and I'm really excited. Got a got a good uh, group of people in the uh, in the dugout with us. So this next question, uh, you're you should be able to nail down pretty good because not only us here at YSM, but there's a lot of people at Class B that have put a lot of stock into your opinion, both as a baseball coach, uh, as a, a human being, but also as a health professional. What is going to be different this year uh, at Scene Park, and, and what do you anticipate from a health standpoint and a safety standpoint? Well, you know, it was interesting because um, I got to go to a tournament this weekend, my daughter's tournament, which was, uh, and Jeff Steiner um, did one heck of a job, you know, 94 teams. It was an amazing job with the, that Thunder Elite tournament. He does a great job. And not and, to interrupt you, but there was also a dinger, if I, if I heard yeah, correctly. Yeah, yeah, there was a dinger. There was a dinger. <laughs> um, I, Jeff does a great job. And, and I, one of the things that I just wanted to pay attention to see what was different Um you know, there was some social distancing in, in the stands, which was, was cool. People were respectable. Some folks were wearing a mask, some weren't. Um, that's cool. Uh, and I, I really wanted to see what was going on in the dugout. And it, it really just seemed like business as usual. 
to me. And uh, which, you know what, I, I've gone back and forth on this and it's a really tough subject, but uh, you know, I think summer we're, we should be in good shape. You know, the sun comes out and, and we've get getting lots of vitamin D and there's probably nothing better for us health wise than being out and being exposed to the sun and, and getting some good exercise. And I think that's a big part the, the league is going to be, the league is going to be, you know, taking temperatures and, you know, we're going to be responsible as coaches, making sure that we're, keeping things clean in the dugouts and, and, you know, being as smart as we can with the kids. And I think, I think there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be some little things that are different, but uh, I think the kids can usually adapt. Well, um, I think it's usually the parents we got to worry about that don't, but, uh, no. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, you know, the kids take it in stride and, and when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it's just going to be baseball. So all that being said, let's take the temperature, no pun intended, on the excitement level of, uh, of your staff, of your guys. Uh, how excited are they to just get back on the diamond? We're excited. We're excited with the group we have, and we're excited to get baseball started. And um, it's going uh, to be just a lot of fun. You know, we're so thankful. And, you know, Scott Rourke has done one hell of a job, and the rest of the people up there, Bob Beam and those guys, have done – you know, I know Scotty's take, taking the flack, but uh, they, they've done a heck of a job getting things ready, making sure that they've got all their bases covered and then some and to get this ready and get this thing on just so that we can play baseball. I mean, obviously, baseball is the most important thing in the world, but it, it just reminds us of what life is like and what what it should be. And and. Uh, getting back out there is absolutely huge and facing some of that tough competition down there at Seam Park. So Britt, I'm going to give preface this by saying you've been to our boot camps for YSN. You know what coach speak sounds like. So this next question, I don't expect any coach speak from you. I want a straight yes. up answer. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes down to it, yes, it's fun to say right now that you're just out there to have fun to get things back to normal but with a shortened season and a new competitive balance. Uh, talk to me about when it turns from just being about fun to being super competitive on that diamond. Well, it, it's going to be super competitive. There's a lot of good teams up there, obviously. You know, um, Juice always has a good team with Nightline. Uh, Dura Edge looks solid. Um, and, uh, you know, the the uh, one of the one I think one of the surprise teams up there this year is going to be Whiting. They've got a really good team. They got a lot of really good kids off the 16U uh, Creekside team. And, uh, you know, and of course, you've got Creekside and uh, the Astro Falcons, uh, who, who have, uh, you know, most of their rosters from <clears throat> Pittsburgh. Uh, but, uh, you know, that makes for uh, some good competition and something to uh, look forward to. So, you know, it's one of the things I talk to my kids about is, you know, every game is winnable. You got to win with discipline and, uh, uh, you know, playing fundamental baseball and, and playing as hard as you can. And that's why we play the game. Do you feel that a shortened season increases the competitive balance from the get-go? Uh, I, 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 I think so, possibly. I mean, um, I – it's a little bit different. Instead of having two divisions, you have one division this year and uh, you play everybody twice, which is, which is cool. Um, I think Scotty did a really great job of putting everything together and making it fair so that, uh, you know, everybody has an equal shot at, uh, at the title up there. And uh, um, I think uh, the way the schedule set up, I think it, it makes uh it gives you a little bit of a breather, I think, which um, especially with your arms. And I think it, that is going to uh, kind of level the playing field a little bit, a little bit more. So it, it is going to be competitive. It always, man, that place is, <laughs> it, it, it is competitive. But, you know, we get in the room, I, I, I'm sure the, the, the 10 coaches from, you know, we're getting together, and I'm sure they would probably battle each other for tiddlywinks sitting at the table. I mean, <laughs> if you're if you're not a coach up there and you're not competitive, you, you don't have a pulse. Do you think? I, I guess one of the the off the cuff questions uh, that I'm going to throw at you. I mean, to have everybody in the same 
park again. You know, is that an advantage for a manager at the 18U level to know what you kind of have coming up the funnel? If you can't get to a game, let's say in Springfield or Neshanic or, you know, other places that, that they host the 14Us and 16Us, is this an advantage for kind of the, the funnel process for your organization? Uh, I think so. And, and I think it's a good thing. Um, you know, Scene Park, Scene Park's the venue, man. I mean, I think that's one of the, and, and you know, I've only been there now for four years, I think, four or five years. You know, the the nice thing is you, you've got one venue, you've got quality facilities, quality fields. That's one thing that brings in the kids. Um, you know, the big thing is, you know, you've got travel baseball and you've got scene park. And, you know, one of our whole goals with scene is we, we want the kids to come there. And, and if you can, if we can draw the, the scouts and everybody else, um, to those fields that that's the goal we want those kids to get the look that they need there at scene park and 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 i think um i think that that's that's something now they, they did change the whole thing with um the 31st now with college uh, coaches can't take a look at these kids now until after july 31st which is which to me is silly i mean that, that goes for softball as well but uh, but yeah that's that's the, that's the whole goal well, the beautiful thing about that, Britt, is they can still watch on YSN. So, you know, naturally for, for for you, it's an advantage. <laughs> for your daughter, not so much yet. We're working on that. So, uh, hey, that's a great the, last idea. <laughs> the last question I'll ask you, Perfect 10. Yeah, what I mean yeah. by that, the 10th team has joined. Uh, we're back to 10 teams at Scene Park. Is it an advantage to have more teams, more faces, uh, you know, to be able to play more kids? I think it's good. I, I think uh, 10 teams is good because you know what? There is a, there's a lot of talent out there. There's a lot of good baseball players. You know, um, uh, I know Chris, it's Constantino. I think it's Chris, uh, the coach of the 18 U team. We've scrimmaged them a little bit in the off season or in the fall. And you know what? He's done a heck of a job putting a good team together. I mean, ballistics is a new franchise up there, but, from what I've seen, they're going to be pretty. They're going to be have a pretty good squad up there. They're going to they're going to do well. Um, so uh, I think it's a good thing. And and, and with all this COVID stuff, uh, all the all the kids that did not get to play, phone the phones have been ringing off the hook from kids yeah. who were travel ball kids or or didn't get to play for their high school seasons. I know we actually picked up a couple, um, and uh, because of that, you know. God, we could almost go with 15 teams, uh, but unfortunately, we don't have enough room on the schedule. But, um, you know, it's about the kids. And the more kids that get a chance out there to get some baseball in uh, and have some fun, it, that's what that's what it's all about. The last question I promise that I'm going to ask you tonight, is, no, there a game, okay. is there a game that you'll have on the schedule that you've circled and said, this game is more important than any of the rest? Well, they're all important. Um, but... Roth Brothers, <laughs> you know, Roth Brothers is always, and I, I, I want to give uh, respect to uh, uh, Mike Cifaldi, but most importantly, my man, Jimmy Cortese, Jim and I, Jimmy and I have been coaching each other for the last, against each other for the last seven, eight years from travel ball all the way up through scene. And it's always, always a great game. Um, Jimmy's always had some, and, and this year's no different. Um, and, and he's probably in my boat too. I think he's got a young team, um, but they're still going to be ultra competitive. Uh, can't say enough about Cam Hollenbaugh. I mean, he's just an amazing athlete, uh, football, oh. basketball. <laughs> part, pardon my dogs. You're good, man. <laughs> Welcome um, to the COVID uh, life, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Cam Hollenbaugh and uh, – that team, the Roth brothers, they, they've got a fantastic team too. You're going to see, they're going to see a lot of good baseball up in 18 U this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, brother. It's been a pleasure with uh, episode one of Britt Taylor unchained here for the prospects. <laughs> we appreciate your time as always. Good luck. And then uh, thank you, sick. sir. Always good talking to you, brother. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you.